Maggie was a child whose beauty was strange and arresting. Her hair was as black as a raven's wing, her eyes were a bewitching shade of green, and her lips were full and sensual and curled with knowing. Maggie was uncommon in many ways, but nothing separated her more surely from her family and community than her unusual gift. Maggie saw visions of dead people, sometimes even before they were dead. Such was Maggie's gift that her brothers and sisters teased her for being a witch until their father told them in a low and trembling voice what became of witches. Father Brennan, the local priest, crossed himself whenever he saw her and tried to coerce her into confessing that the things she claimed to see were invented in order to get attention. The people of Balanakelly stared at her with wide and frightened eyes, believing her to be under the influence of the ghosts who had been present at her birth, and the old women muttered, that child has been here before, as true as God is my judge. Even Maggie's grandmother said that if she hadn't seen her slither out of Orla's body with her own eyes, she would have believed her to be a changeling sent by an old puka to bring misfortune into the house. But misfortune came anyway, whether or not Maggie was a changeling. For Maggie, however, there was nothing unusual about seeing the dead or predicting death, for as long as she could remember, she had seen things that were beyond the senses of other people. And she wasn't wicked, she knew that. Her gift was God-given. So she escaped to the hills where she could be at one with all creation. With the wind in her hair and her skin damp with drizzle, she enjoyed striding through the wild grasses towards the edge of the earth where the sea rolled onto the sand in glistening waves. Beneath the wheeling gulls, she'd wrap her shawl around her shoulders and throw her gaze across the water and occasionally she'd spy the sails of a vessel on the distant horizon and wonder at the vastness and mystery of the world far from her shore. But it was high up on the cliffs, in the ancient stone circle known as the Fairy Ring, that she played with the nature spirits no one else could see. For there, in that magical place, no one feared her or judged her or castigated her. There was only God and the secret pagan world that he permitted her to see in all its wonder.